guessing he's not available on such. Yeah, we have a character for him to run to. <laughs> well, we could just hand him the bard. He knows troublemakers. Exactly. That's what I meant. We have a character for him to run to. <laughs> So you fought a bunch of, uh, I think, whites and stuff. And we took a long rest here. Did you take a long rest? Because nobody had so. been rested yet. So I'm assuming that that was not the case. Uh, everybody's hit points look like they're full. Yeah, they're not all full. No, I have used Well, I see the one fighter's little down, but... And they're close to full, so... Where are you from? So, we, oh, do we want to take a long rest? Oh no, I do have one used spell. I was gonna say when I when I loaded when I first got in here, you guys all had like your icons and like your spirit guardian stuff. And... So well, do we want to take a long rest or not? Well, do we take a long rest before we came in the? door to the infernal royalty whatever like have we just taken a long rest no nobody is taking a long rest I think you're saying has time passed long enough for us to take a rest that I'm not entirely sure I don't need it I guess I only used up one spell I usually try to conserve them so I sit on the throne. All right. Okay. Well, I'll try to. I probably don't fit. <laughs> yeah. So as as you like like as you like touch the throne, like you step onto the dais there. We already know it's loose. We know something's under it. Oh, Isn't that where we left off? We're like, hey, there's something under here, but let's take a short rest first, or a long rest, or something, before we move the throne. All right, I can select Bard Boy, but I can't bring up his character sheet to see what the hell he can do, actually. Sorry. And, um, kids were... Being really loud. That's why you're supposed to lock them in your playroom when they're playing. Their playroom when they're playing. When you're playing. That'd be worse because their playroom is directly above my room. <laughs> I don't see his character sheet in a list of characters either. Maybe that's yours. Uh, Bard boy here. Should have a uh, be able to click on him. Hold shift. I can click on him. I hold shift, double click, and nothing pops up. Oh, <laughs> I got. You could you could edit and control him, but you couldn't see a sheet. There we go. How about that? That might work better. Helps to know what the hell it can do. All right. Um. So. What are you? What are you attacking, Spud? I just hit a button by accident. Oh. All right. So a a shadowy apparition appears on the throne as you touch it. He wears an ornate chain shirt decorated with golden scorpions that gleam beneath an electrum threaded royal vestment. Holds in, a in, holds in jeweled gloved hands a long scepter carved to look like a stylized scorpion's tail. His face That's seems the human. Scorpion King. Shh. His face seems human, but long dark horns curl from the top of his head and around to below his jaw jawline. He regards you. Curiously, um, sponge. 
He says, why have you disturbed my rest? You look like a comfortable seat. Doesn't look comfortable at all. <laughs> <laughs> my legs are a little tired. So I, don't, I didn't know you were hungry. He's not talking to you. He's talking to me. Your comments to yourself. That's what I say to him, though, Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> says there is no comfort to be found here. Aw. Uh, so who are you? Kind of looks at you, and his, his eyes are just like solid black spheres. I am Archmeros, the last king priest of Aram Hall. Lanaresh greets you as well from here in the netherworld. Now, Floyd, as an aside of, I ever heard of these people? Um, you can roll a religion check. Could I roll a history check? You could roll a religion check. <laughs> uh, either way, it's the same. So. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I never heard of you. Can you tell me about yourself? Lanaresh. Your Lanaresh is the scorpion lord of outcasts and loners. He is the father of my people. Sounds like an interesting person. Or God. The rest of Tor us uh, Tor I, I, I guess, as an aside, Torp would know Lanaresh as one of the archfiends. Can the rest of us hear this conversation? Yes. Yes, you can. Can I roll religion? Uh, sure. So I just just told Torp. Told yeah. At least Torp knows that. Yeah, Burke would know too. Or uh, whatever you are. Caspian. Jeez, it's been a long time. Yes. <laughs> so anyways, I'm guessing that you're an evil, your guy's an evil god. Evil, he, he kind of... Uh, Would be considered evil. Yeah. Or neutral, he, maybe. He has kind of an amused, like a slight amused, like, crinkling of the side of his mouth. Evil is but a, but the perception of whoever happens to be casting about against their own moral and ethical codes. Lanaresh, Lanaresh, he he gave to us patronage when all others had had cast us away. So to others he might be evil, but to you he was good. It's all in the eye of the beholder. There are no beholders here. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> Enough of this philosophy. Do you know where the urn of Avernassus is? Yeah, yes. I Nerd. should have glanced at Torp. To say, <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking here. Not anymore, you know. Having a conversation. It says, the urn you seek is atop the temple of our god, not far from here. Side of the complex we're in now? Well, this once was a city before it was buried by Mount Kashaka. Interesting. Yes, the, hey, urn was, the urn was something of a prize to us. It is a part of the body of Avernassus, which is an archfiend that so. our, our god Lanarash had something of a rivalry with. He could not be destroyed without destroying his heart, which is buried beneath a mountain. Even now, the heart has started beating. The blood of his people can feel it, or drawn to it. So you wouldn't mind us taking the urn to get it away from this heart? I know not where his heart is. 
but it is of no use of a curiosity to us now since our city is demolished and all my people are dead. I'm sorry for your loss. Do you know where the urn is located within this complex so that we may safeguard it so your um your um god's rival won't come and come back? No, as I said, it was within the city. But it is not far, at least not the Temple of Lanaresh. Which direction is the temple from here? Does your throne face it? Yes, it is. I'm facing the direction of the temple now. It was next to the tomb. So it is that away. Okay. Yeah, he's facing mm -hmm. west. Or to the left of the screen. Oh, it was a pleasure to meet you, and I'm sorry about your city. And I hope you have a restful afterlife. Is there any way, anything we can do to help you pass along to the into a more restful afterlife? Oh, I'm quite at rest. Hey, it is Avernassus that stirs. And I do not know where his heart is imprisoned. Only Sarnok's Templars of Karoth knew that secret. I'm sure many would pay a bloody price to uncover it. Mm -hmm. Reuniting his ashes in the urn with the heart will awaken him, and he will be fully formed and once again walk this world. So That's take why we need, this is why we need to get to the ashes before other people do. And... Templars of Karoth sounds familiar. That was the Dwarven Templars. Uh, yeah, Karoth is your god. Yeah. <laughs> so very familiar. In oh, fact, I said it sounded familiar. Yes, and not to dredge up what is now probably ancient to you guys, but it was detailed there. What you found probably in session four, and we're now in session 32. Oh, hey, I said it sounded familiar. I remember <laughs> something like about that. Yeah, so it's been a while. Well, then we will take our leave of you, and you have a good good rest of your day. Indeed, Lanarash calls me back. Flee this place soon, though, for the mountain stirs. Aids. And then his throne is, is as... And I look around and say, I was having a conversation, and you guys kept interrupting me. We were babbling about crap we didn't need to care about. I walked this way. <laughs> I'm going to write it down in a song. Babbling Ninja <laughs> Turtle. I walked this way. How's that for board? <laughs> Are we here before Floyd? Uh, I look in the tomb. Changed it on us. Restoration. He has a I'm thinking the, uh, uh, what the hell? Well, Bard guy could go first to check for shit. He's probably the best at it. What are you investigating? Well, the ground to make sure you don't step on something where, they, where there ain't no ground or something. Yeah. So is nobody going to continue uh, looking at the throne? No, you can check out too. Well, we were going to move it and see what was underneath. Ah, uh, that's right. Investigate it first. He probably has something to get advantage on that. I, I don't think he does. Sure, I'm fairly sure. I'm fairly sure it's been a while, <laughs> but um, yeah, the, the you managed to slide throne um, to the south, and there's a large um, kind of 
like hole that you can kind of it has a has a ladder going down. Can I fit through it? There. The dwarf will show him how to do it. <laughs> uh, it would be a, a tight fit for the dwarf. What do I see when I look down the hole with my devil's sight? Um, there appears to be a chamber or something. Down. I shimmy down first. Our boy could jump down there. Yeah, he, <laughs> makes makes a, an awful racket as his <laughs> shell scrapes against the uh, stone. I will Man, jump on poor top shell of him is in the polish. <laughs> Get some tor- turtle wax. Well, I <laughs> should go first only because I am the most heavily armored. So. Yeah, so you get down into the chamber, Sponge. Um, it's a little cramped, but there is a uh, sarcophagus standing um, to the east. Okay. I walk is over any, to it. Is anybody following him down? There's no, next, I should wait. say. There's not a yeah. lot of space. And I call out and ask, is this your... Uh, to, I say the name of the um, person who was on the throne. Can't remember it. Archimeros? The king. Yeah, yes. the king guy. And king they priest. say, is, it, is this is this your tomb? No answer forthcoming. Okay. Well, I'm thinking this might be his tomb, and it would be rather rude to open it. So I look at it, see if there's any identifying marks. Um. What are your languages that you know, Spud? Yeah. Um, languages like which would be. I'm looking. Skills? No. Background. <laughs> yeah, they're on background. I think I only know Kalman in um, the language of Aquan. Okay, there's runes, but you don't recognize. You don't recognize. Yeah, I know Aquan and Kalman. Yeah, neither. Anybody coming down behind him? There's room down here for probably one other person. I'm gonna wait to hear any explosions or anything. I'll hop down. Okay. Cast comprehend languages. Point these rooms out. Point the rooms out. Rooms out to me. They're pretty yes. obvious. All right. Well, what languages do you speak, Cat? Common, Elvish, Monic, Lin, Giant. Deep. It's a lot of languages. None of them the one you need, though. This is why I said cast comprehend languages. I don't know if I have comprehend. God damn it, dog. Down. We do not have abyssal and deep goblin. No one dwarvish. Torp knows that spell. Up and let Torp down. Right. Who's going out? Espion. All right, Torp. There it is infernal. Um, and it is a kind of like the name of Archmeros, king priest of Aram Hall, and a bunch of you know, kind of like lofty titles, of, you know, detailing his many whatevers. The first to sit his ass on that rock hard, uncomfortable throne. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Title such as that. <laughs> right, right, right. So it would be about. I don't think we should desecrate his tomb. Uh, you should just peel on it and mark it. Stuff in there. <laughs> don't care. It would be rude and non honorable. Wow, Sponge suddenly has a sense of honor? Time to honor yeah. those infernal speaking things. I've always had a sense of honor. Torp, 
Tor Torp is the fiend slayer. It's a What do you need from me? Well, we need you to open the casket. And there's a tortle blocking you from opening the casket. Uh, but there's a grave cleric. It makes it his job to check graves. He's going to make sure they are actually laid to rest. Well, I got to make sure it's sealed and he cannot raise. That is a grave cleric's duty. Well, there's a portal who does not want the tomb disturbed because the guy on the throne. For the, for the because, <laughs> because the guy on the throne was not a, was that is friendly, but therefore that is wrong. So what's Torp doing? Garby. Oh. Okay, I'm back. What's going on? Well, we were trying to decide that. Ed wants to hey. inspect the grave, make sure yeah. it's... Make sure he's really at rest. Since he was just speaking, that is a grave card's duty. Portal wants to try to be honorable for one... Um, I don't know, not reason. And thinks talking to a ghost is normal. <laughs> well, Torp doesn't really want anything from this infernal area other than to destroy it or desecrate it some way. But at the same time, he, he knows that probably a lot of items around here are cursed or trapped. Oh, yeah. I said, my goal would just be to make sure he cannot come back. And if he does, to send him directly back. I well, the mantra of a grave cleric. Baku is not letting anybody disturb the tomb. Well, you gotta take into consideration. Or something. Mm -hmm. You're down there. Well, come on up and Baku can watch him move. We'll seal it back up. Uh, make sure he stays safe. Tor yep. climbs up the ladder. Uh, who follows him up? I close make sure. it. Make sure he stays dead. Okay, what, what, so what's going on now? I will leave the turtle down there so he can watch it and make sure he does not come back. All right, so do you open it up? No. No, he stays there. They're trying to seal me in. Oh, oh, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna I'm not trying to steal you in. The cleric is. Eric's on a bit. Sure that that is dead. Yep. I can't argue the cleric's mission. So you're going to just let him seal a party member into this tomb. I didn't exactly say that either. Well, that's what he's trying to do after um, Torp got up, and I'm think climbing up afterwards. Something should let the grave clear. That is. That is. The grave cleric's job. Make sure things are. Yep, right. make sure everything stays on the right side of the river. If you're alive, you can be here. If you're not, you cannot be. So, my actions will be toward talking into, or talking yourself, Daniel, telling Claire to do the job. I'm All not right. allowing anybody to open the tomb. All right, Torque climbs up. I'll cast your spell. Deal them in. It's over. Daniel, 
So in other way, in other words, my portal was trapped down there. Yep. Well, see you guys later. Now investing. He is investigating the path ahead. We're heading west, right? Uh, well, there's no direct way west. You have, but you came south. North, which hasn't, uh, door. that's a door. Is that, uh, a set say, of doors here. Doors or well, that's a good thing for him to investigate up to. Um, they appear to be. Doesn't they? They don't appear to be locked, but they appear to be kind of like sealed in some fashion. Some magical fashion. No, like you know how you know like tombs or whatever. Vacuum sealed. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I closed it into a fashion without the intention of opening them up again. So wedged. Since you're on the inside of the tomb. And a crossbar on the outside, you're saying? Something like that. Or a stone. Which would mean these doors would push out. <clears throat> hmm. Any other suggestions on how to do the door? Get the other fighter up here to smack into it with his hammer. Torp starts smashing the throne with his hammer, trying to get the portal out of the, the hole. <laughs> if you drug him out before, I'd go back down in there and get him. But I'd rather check the grave. Own shape. No, uh, the physical book out. Uh, I mean, regular, regular stone.
probably just take a while. That's what torque. Yep. I just texted back here. To Sarah, tell you what I. Ask an H hand. And as Torp smashes the uh, drone, Chand. Ten, 10 pounds at a time. Whatever it takes. I'm not strong enough. Don't you have your fighter? Oh, yeah. There's Derek. Yeah. I come over and start searching on it. <laughs> Darian here. Like, oh, and because is Darian the one that has like the really high? Dungeon. Yes, I have the uh, uh, dungeon diver, or whatever hell feet that was. Let me look it up. I've written on here somewhere. There are different areas all around. Servant. <laughs> yeah, that could be it. Five bonus. Okay, so in between, like the sounds of the uh, hammer blows, you hear. I have this trilling sound coming from the north tunnel somewhere. Trilling? Really? Yeah, and then like this, you can feel like the tremor of something moving through rock. Oh, oh. There's something living in the rock. Yeah, this could be. I know I have it written on here some damn place. Yes. Yeah, observant, quick to notice detail in the environment. All right, the, uh, the, the, the hole the hole is open. Um here. Um you hear a whole bunch of like clattering sounds um kind of rhythmically coming from the north. Oh, that's probably those hook horrors we ran into before. This is much. This is much more rapid. Really? Oh, turn order thing. I'm just looking here. Where the hell is the issue? There it is. Sight on this thing yet? I have no idea what the hell Brandon has all these little counter things for. It's yeah. one heal, one whisper, two suggest, three counter. Well, uh, I think he Anything. numbered them because he couldn't figure out how to get them in, in well, an order that he wanted. <laughs> there's a one in the heel and a one in whisper. Then there's three encounter and three fear, three turncoat. Oh, I think it's uh, the level of the spell. Oh, that could be, yeah. Uh, what's Sea Blast? Uh, I think that's Eldritch Blast. Cantrip. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense, huh? 
So I gotta get a sheet to make me that shit. I'm getting there. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Where's Stacks Initiative? In Baku. I think that's everybody. Yeah, well, was first, but I guess it depends on if Guderian makes mention of the fact that there's your sounds coming from. Sure, I see. Hey, here's something over there. Let's see where it is. <laughs> Well, Cornell's first. Unless he can get past me. Well, he can pass through your space yeah. as long as he's in okay. there. Just difficult to read. What's his movement rate? Probably like 30. Here, and I can see some little wizard or a worm, I mean. Yeah, it's a, uh, it looks like a giant centipede um, made out of iron. It has like a dull sheen to it. This speed is left blank. Huh. Yeah, it's probably 30. He's a. Yeah, I'm thinking human. it's 30. He's, yeah, half hour for human or something. All right, so that's 10, 20. I'm thinking he might want to back up. And we will try an Eldritch Blast, I think. Since I don't know what a vicious mockery would do to a metal worm. <laughs> 17 hit? Uh, no. Huh. It just kind of like glances past it. Yep. He will yell back. You got some well armored. the rest of the group. Ugwe. Am I still trapped? No. I broke it out. Where is this thing? In the hallway. I step down and ready. If anything comes near me, I will attack it. That's my turn. Comes down here, um, and it starts making a really loud trilling noise. All within 30 feet. Oh, Never wait came. a minute. I believe it entered my zone of reach. It did. Well, I get to bring it, it with my stick. Stick just bounces harmlessly off its carapace. Hmm. I think. Oh, yeah. okay. So all of you make a constitution save. Corp has managed to cover his ears fast enough. <laughs> Darian, however, has not. Darian is stunned and deafened. Now, I have you know, I click saves. I think try this. Let's try this. How's a thirteen do? Uh, not good enough. It is. 
Those are my shoes. I guess that means you just auto fit. 